Peace, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is Foundation Friday, and the foundation that I got is a brand new foundation from Dose of Colors. I know Dose of Colors for their lip color. They have really good matte lipsticks that'll just last you all day long, so I was very excited to see that they started a new face collection, including a foundation. This foundation is $36, and it has 42 shades. I'm pretty impressed by the wide shade range for a new foundation. I like the brands are starting to wake up and realize that you can't just launch a foundation with 10 colors. You're going to piss some people off. So if you go on the website, you see like their full shade range. I am number 126, which is medium tan. And there are 16 shades darker than my skin tone. That's pretty good. Usually, most of the time, there's like two shades darker than me, which is just ridiculous. But I am happy with this shade range. The Dose of Colors Foundation is vegan, cruelty-free, talc-free, paraben-free, oil-free, and fragrance-free. According to the claims on the website, it's supposed to have a natural matte finish, which I think it does. Medium to full buildable coverage, I agree. Skin-like feel, also agree. So my shade 126 medium tan is supposed to have a warm undertone. Warm undertones work for me sometimes, especially when I want that more bronze look, but I also could pull off a cool undertone, but I'm very happy with this color choice for me today. And now that I'm on the website, I just realized you can try a sample. So that's pretty cool. If you're not sure what shade to get, you can get a sample before committing to your purchase. I respect that. I also just realized that they have a concealer. I miss that. This has to be new. I would have ordered it. But they do have concealers for $24 in 30 shades. This foundation is available on the Dose of Colors website and also at Ulta Beauty. So, uh, spoiler alert, I definitely forgot to record the intro to this video, so you're actually looking at my face after almost eight hours of wear. I know, now I got your attention. So let me show you how I applied my Dose of Colors foundation with the Dose of Colors beauty sponge, show you how oily I got before I blotted, and how I got to this point. Let's get started. All right, let's do this. My face is moisturized. Now I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Matte Primer. This is the one I've been using lately. I think it does a pretty good job. Now let's grab the new foundation and their new beauty sponge. This is the Seamless Beauty Sponge. It's $15. And according to the little box, it's supposed to have a unique flat bottom, which I do prefer. And also has this little point to really get in these areas right here under eyes. Love that. It's supposed to give you smooth, even coverage and seamless application. We'll see about that. Now I'm grabbing my Meet Your Hue foundation. This is number 126, medium tan. One fluid ounce, just like most foundations. Oh, now I have to ruin this beautiful, perfect beauty sponge. Any of you guys ever have a hard time doing this? Oh, one pump. Oh, nice. I like how the flat bottom kind of really presses it in there. Skin color is actually really good. I think it is a good hue for me. With makeup, without. Not bad. I'm gonna add some more. So far it's looking very natural. Let's really hide all this. Very good coverage, even though it's still very lightweight. Ooh, yes. <laughs> hide the flaws. I am really liking this sponge. I have to be honest. Nothing really has compared to the actual beauty blender and anytime I branch out I usually don't like it because it's just like a really hard sponge, but this one This little this little diamond Giving it a run for its money. That is looking so nice I'm impressed pro tip also don't lay your baby hairs until after you put on your makeup Okay, so here's how my face looks with just the foundation all on its own, nothing else. And so far, I am very impressed. I think it is going on pretty matte. I got great coverage. It's a perfect color match for my skin tone. So far, so good. Now let me finish the rest of my face. We're getting there. I still have to finish my full face, but this is how my skin looks with foundation, powder, and concealer. Very natural looking, very matte. I still need to finish my eyes, brows, contour, all that jazz, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna pause here at 
4 p.m. when I put on the foundation. I'm going to come back to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back again at the end of the day. Now we're talking. So now I've completed my full face. I think this foundation is looking amazing thus far. Very matte, full coverage, not shiny yet. So hopefully I stay that way. So it is now 520, so this foundation has been on my face for a good almost hour and a half, but I'm gonna continue to wear it throughout the night. I am going out tonight, so I'll come back later tonight and we'll see how well this foundation does on my oily skin. And I'm back, it is now 11.30 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a good seven and a half hours. I did change my top, can't get it over my face without messing up my makeup, but this is the same face from earlier. So what do we think? Not bad for almost eight full hours of wear. I think like the sides of my face are still matte, still getting that full coverage. It still looks very like glowy. I do have some oil in my T-zone area, which is where I get the oiliest. But now I am gonna grab one of my oil absorbing sheets. These are from CVS. You can use any brand you want. And I'm going to remove the oil. And let's see how I look after. All right, now I have removed all the oil off my face. It is a pretty good amount, but there isn't too much transfer. There is a little bit of makeup on here, but it's not like huge chunks of like brown makeup. It's just like very faint, but there is a lot of oil. But now that I've taken it all off, my skin looks really, really good. So I'm very impressed by the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. If you have normal or dry skin, I would love to know how this works on you. Please leave a comment down below. And I think it would work even better because you don't have to worry about the shine part. And besides the shine part, it looks really good. If you guys have tried it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you want more Foundation Fridays, there's plenty more where that came from. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. And you can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.